สวัสดีครับ <coughs> ผมชื่อจันขันชื่อเล่นว่าน็อตผมก็ขอบคุณสำหรับทีมที่มาจากอเมริกาแล้วก็ขอบคุณสำหรับวันนี้ที่ได้มีโอกาสแบ่งปันเกี่ยวกับชีวิตตั้งแต่เด็กมาตามที่พี่น้องต้องการที่อยากจะรู้จักแล้วผมจะพูดถึงว่าทำไมผมมาเชื่อพระเจ้าแล้วก็หลังจากเชื่อพระเจ้าแล้วทำไมจึงถวายตัวรับเชื่อพระเจ้านะครับก็จะบอกกับพี่น้องให้รู้ว่าทำไมครับสาเหตุที่ผมมาเชื่อในพระเจ้าก็เพราะว่าตั้งแต่เด็กก็คือมีความทุกข์ยากลำบากคือแต่ก่อนเนี่ยตอนเป็นเด็กเนี่ยผมพ่อแม่ผมให้เกิดผมที่ประเทศลาวแล้วก็หลังจากนั้นก็มีการเปลี่ยนแปลงประเทศลาวแล้วผมก็เข้ามาสู่ในประเทศไทยอยู่ในศูนย์อพยพนะครับเมื่ออยู่ในศูนย์อพยพก็มีความทุกข์ยากลำบากหลายสิ่งหลายอย่างซึ่งความทุกข์ยากลำบากต่างๆเหล่านั้นแล้วก็มีองค์การสหประชาชาติแล้วก็มีองค์การของคริสเตียนหลายองค์การที่มาช่วยเหลือผู้พยพและก็ในองค์การหนึ่งนั้นตอนที่ผมเป็นเด็กอยู่ในศูนย์อพยพนะ่ะความยากจนฝ่ายเนื้อหนังและก็ความยากจนฝ่ายจิตใจและความยากจนฝ่ายวิญญาณด้วยฉะนั้นสาเหตุที่เราใช้พระเจ้าเขาเพราะว่าในชีวิตนี้เราไม่มีอะไรที่จะตอบสนองพระเจ้าเรามีชีวิตอยู่ชีวิตเดียวเมื่อเราไม่ได้โอเมก้าสามหกเก้าจากปลาเซบอนเราจะทำยังไง So for when it comes to the scientist terms, so the scientists all around the world they said, well, what if we didn't get like like the omega three nine six from salmon? Yeah, what happens if the salmon yeah, dies? Where are we going to get the omegas from? เพราะว่าถ้าไม่มีโอเมก้าสามหกเก้าเนี่ยเช่นบำรุงสมองเด็กหรือรักษาโรคหรือป้องกันโรคต่างๆแล้วเราจะทำยังไงไม่รู้สาจะพูดยังไง Hi, I'm here with Pastor Knott in the Bukluwa district 
in the province of Nan in northern Thailand. And Pastor Nan has been here for about two years now, almost two years now, and God has used him in this area. So Pastor Nan, explain to us exactly what God is doing here in this dis in this district. <laughs> Now, about two years ago when we met, you and I found 56 villages that where there was no churches. And you've been planting churches and doing work in reaching those villages. How are you been, how is that going in, and how many of those villages now have Christians in it that, used, that two years ago did not have any Christians? คือเอาจากภารกิจของเขาอยู่ที่นี่แล้วเป็นญาติกันแต่แต่ก่อนนั้นเราก็มาประกาศแล้วอ่าตั้ง 你知道嗎?ก็คือว่าภารกิจประกาศข่าวประเสริฐแก่ผู้ที่เอื้อมไม่ถึงก็มียุทธศาสตร์ก็คือโครงการส่งเสริมอาชีพให้กับผู้ที
know, mm -hmm. this, this was a trip that it wasn't a maybe, yes, maybe, you know, it has to be a yes or no. You know, I believed that I did get a yes from the Lord, but I wasn't absolutely sure. And, you know, and I kept asking the Lord, well, how am I to pay And the Lord told me to trust him. One of the greatest miracles that I was able to witness on my mission in Thailand was we were in a village with an older gentleman who had a knee problem. And we got to the point where we were able to share the testimony and I was able to share my personal testimony about my kneecap being out of place. And the cool thing was after sharing that with him, we had the opportunity to pray for him in this village. And once we prayed for him, he actually was healed and moments later, he was walking around the village. The awesome thing about the language barrier was, in the beginning, it was a little awkward. Um, we didn't really know what we were saying. And then as we would try to uh, have our interpreter translate, it was a little awkward. But in the as we continued to progress and we got to know each other, we really broke that cultural barrier to where we understood each other's language. And uh, in high school, I was introduced to God, but I still didn't understand Him. And then college, I experienced a lot of depression and a lot of bad places that I was going through during college. And then I really experienced the presence and the love of God when I was invited to church service one day at Church of the King. And after that, it changed and transformed my life and showed me that I do have value and that I am loved by God and by ultimately by others as well who live and experience the same love of God that I do now. I just, just wanted to keep my word, you know, be on mission with God, you know, because God's mission is to reach other nations, mm -hmm. to draw people to Him, to bless other, to bless other people through Christians, through us, and I just, I just want to be on mission with God and to serve these, um, these people in Thailand, love on them, show them the love of Christ, build mm -hmm. disciples, build them up in leadership, and basically just be there for them. On mission with God. At first, when I accepted Christ, I thought life would be different, like, we'll be like better, right? Because um, once we are saved, things will be easier, like, uh, yeah, we have freedom in Christ, and um, God will be there for us. God, like, He will bless us. That's what I understood during the time. Like, everything will be all good, and like my life will be happy ever after. <laughs> However, uh, there are many bad things happened in my life since I came back from the states to Thailand. Um, during those four years. Um, I fell into many temptations and you know most of them I've never had to experience before accepting Christ I never had that those bad experiences in my, my life so I feel I'm pretty sure that because God is God he's real that's why Satan now he wants me to pull me out of God's love. So he put all those sinful things 
or temptations into my life to put me into the worst place so that I walk away from God because of my guilt. I've been encouraged many times by um, Romans chapter 8, like verse 37 to 39, about um, how God loves us so much that nothing can separate us from His love. And despite all those sins, I know that God will forgive me as I repent and start over. And I know that with, with me, myself, I cannot get back up. But it's just me surrendering to, to Him and telling Him that I'm helpless. I need Him to strengthen me. Um, that's that's how my life get restarted, and now I'm I'm back again in His love. You know, going on the mission field for me, it has been the most humbling thing. But at the same time, it is such a selfless thing because when you go there, it removes every bit of consciousness about yourself and what your issues may be, what your thoughts may be about yourself because you're pouring out for other people. And it's so like the heart of God because it's what Jesus did when he was here. ความยากจนไฟเนื้อหนังแล้วก็ความยากจนไฟจิตใจและความยากจนไฟวิญญาณด้วยฉะนั้นสาเหตุที่เราใช้พระเจ้าเขาเพราะว่าในชีวิตน